Tom Brady, since week after week three, has looked pedestrian-like. And I don't know if this impacts him wanting to stay in New England, New England wanting him to stay in New England, but he has completed exactly 50% of his passes in the last three games. Lowest completion percentage of any three-game span in his career. This is a team that can't score. The defense is only so good for so long, and You know, Kansas City could have blown that one wide open. Now, were there some calls there that were questionable? Yes. But Belichick, if if you're going to challenge a spot, you lost it. Okay. You know, you're challenging the spot, and if you're, you got to be right on those things. And it's really tricky when you're challenging a spot. You would have had the Harry touchdown. There was a pass interference call. New England was to their own detriment in that game. The offense, there's no imagination whatsoever. I mean, it got to the point where Kansas City's double-teaming Julian Edelman, basically saying, you got anybody over there? And Edelman still came up with a couple of catches. There's no running game. And Kansas City's defense, I don't know if Kansas City's defense is that good, but Kansas City's defense looked good enough where you go, "Mm," on second thought, they can go to the Super Bowl with that defense, coupled with that offense. I mean, that was the feeling I was getting, and I didn't think that. But the last couple of weeks, they played really well. But New England, you know, you've lost to the division leaders. You've lost to, you know, the Ravens. You lost to Kansas City. You lost to the Texans here. I'm still not off their bandwagon. (laughs) I'm still, I I refuse. You can't quit them? I I refuse until you stab them and they're dead and last rites and I see the casket close. I would not go against them. Yes, Eden. It might be a little bit of wishful thinking, but the Patriots have been terrible the last couple of weeks, and we're still right in both of those games. I know. That's, I mean, that says something about the team that maybe they're not quite as bad. If you get a couple of calls that are supposed to go your way last night, they win that game. And then, <laughs> oh, well, and, back row. Back and row. Uh, that game against the Texas went right down to the last play, too. So, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't go against them. Even the worst Patriots team we've seen in 20 years. Is still pretty good. They're still dangerous enough. But, you know, they had some plays that didn't go their way. Uh, Kansas City made some plays and gets out of there with a victory. Yeah. New England's going to have to kind of figure it out somehow, some way. I don't know who Deion Sanders thinks is coming to play for the Patriots because he, he better show up soon. Who is Deion going to play for the Patriots? Because I... I don't know who's going to help him, but Dion a couple of weeks ago was guaranteeing somebody was going to come in and help the Patriots offense. And I went, unless it's Antonio Brown, I don't know who's coming in to help him. And now the report comes out that they're not going to bring in Antonio Brown. Yeah, Paul. Unfortunately, I was watching the Cardinals play last night, and I still feel bad for Larry Fitzgerald. I, I want him to finish his career as a Patriot. I think the trade deadline's gone. There's got to be some yeah. type of waiver that could be signed. Let him play for the rest of the season for the Patriots. Have a chance at a ring. Yeah, I don't think it works that way. I know, but it should. Like the commissioner's exempt list, they should have one to help out players who haven't really been able to play on a high level. To help Larry Fitzgerald rule. Yeah. He got to the Super Bowl. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. Yes, McLovin. The Patriots really need another inside slow receiver. (laughs) They only have nine of them. (laughs) Meanwhile, Tariq Hill is so fast. They're showing the highlights right now. It's like a different... He, a different sport out there with the Patriots. Well, Kansas City has three guys for their four by 100 relay team. They they really do. And it doesn't matter. They could put Andy Reid in there as their fourth guy and still probably have the fastest four by 100 relay team in football. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.